What's going on guys? Hey, tonight I wanted to try something a little bit different. I had this realization this weekend as I was playing with my city's symphony orchestra. I was playing Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy because we were doing the Nutcracker and I realized that it would sound really cool in a Latin style, specifically merengue. Now, for those of you who don't know what merengue is, it is a Dominican, I believe, style. And it's very, very fiery. There is, it is captivating. There is so much heat to it. It is so cool. And the piano lines are something like I'd never experienced before I started learning them. So I actually wanted to try to go to y2mate.com if you're familiar with that. Unfortunately, it has been taken down. I wonder who is responsible for that. Couldn't be Google. Anyway. It is not there anymore, so I had to get creative with how I got a merengue backing track from YouTube. So I actually had to use the Flash screen capture, Adobe screen capture. So I have that right here. Let's turn that metronome off. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the beginning. Now what I'm going to do is I'm first going to add the piano line. So let's jump right in. All right, so I've got the music from this weekend right here in front of me. Now, it isn't especially, you know, professional, I suppose, to play a new song off of already written sheet music. However, what I'm gonna play isn't actually that. I'm gonna be using the notes. I'm gonna be using the general idea of what's on that page, but I have to make it. I have to give it a more merengue feel, merengue piano. I'm not an expert. I just wanna start off by saying that. I'm not an expert, but it is very, um, very pattern-based, a lot of shift between hands. So I have to take that in consideration. So I'm just gonna play through it one time. Let's uh, turn on the metronome for good luck. I didn't record that. That wasn't my best effort. I also don't like that piano tone all that much. So we need to do a little bit of exploring. I'm gonna change it right now and I'll see you in the next clip. All right, so I think I found the piano patch that I wanna use. It's called Bright Poke. Yeah, that's a great name. So let's try this out. I'm gonna record this time. Let's see what happens. Good luck, everyone. Four for good measure. sloppy I can do better but I think the gist of it is there so what I'm doing is I'm alternating between this left hand pattern right here outlining the first chord and I'm actually offsetting the first note just a little bit a lot of left right left right right okay so overall it sounds like this Yeah, et cetera, et cetera. So like I said, not perfect, but time goes on. We're gonna make it perfect. Let's try it again. Take two. Four for good measure. Oh no, great. Thank you. 
Better, better. But not good enough. Take three. Not bad, not bad. Well, don't pause it just yet. I know I can do better. Oh, okay, for this video, for this video, I'm gonna give it one more try. And if I don't get it here, I'm gonna get it later. But I'm gonna keep this video kind of short because it's about to rain. I wanna see the rain. So, take four. Oh, I added a little fun little at the beginning, by the way. You heard. that was it but if it's not then uh, you know what we're just gonna have to deal with it and uh, figure out some studio magic to make it work this is just a fun project I'm not trying to be a master like I said I'm not the merengue expert so hope you enjoy this and when it's all done I will put it out there somewhere so keep an eye out